Everyone, it is Marie here from Skeins, and I thought I would come to you nice and early on a Monday morning before I hit downstairs for another big day of the Skeins Epic Sale. We are now officially into week two, and I thought it was a really good time after a huge week, busy weekend. Many of you must have been knitting, planning, and shopping over the weekend, uh, because I tell you what, there is a lot of orders uh, to go out today, which is great. Keep them coming. We absolutely love it, and uh, so many of those new yarns that we popped up on the weekend you just totally adored which was great completely loved that as well so I thought I would come to you today with what I'm calling instead of a weather forecast a Skeins epic sale forecast to give you an idea of where some of the stock levels are and um, some things that are definitely out of stock and not coming back just to help you with your planning or if you're sitting on the fence and humming and hiring about whether or not you're going to dive back into the sale and get some more yarn this might help make your decision. So the first thing I want to hit you with is uh, silver lining. Silver lining uh, DK, I am afraid the stocks that are there are the last stocks. We've got no more base yarn of that left, and that yarn is slated for discontinuation. I know, one of my absolute all-time favourite yarns, um, but unfortunately we have had some issues with raw material supply, which is our biggest problem. Not to say it won't ever come back in the future, but at the moment it is on hiatus until we can get those raw material situations sorted out. Uh, so yeah, it is definitely, in, it, it is at this stage on hiatus, and what we've got left um, that you'll see on the page is it until... It's, you know, such time that we can get our hands on a more consistent supply. However, Lumiere, we have dyed the last of the Lumiere base up, and things like Clearview Blue, Red Triangle, Korakeko Rose are all now back in stock. So if you want to pick up some silver lining Lumiere, all the Lumiere colours are now back in stock. So do head over and do that, uh, because that is great, great buy. So... That is Silver Lining Lumiere, I'm crossing that off my list. Um, the next one I wanted to talk to you about was uh, Outlaw Yards, because many of you now know that Outlaw are, having, are going to be having a huge big colour revamp coming up this winter. Super exciting. And we have got the discontinued colours here. And they have been trucking out the door. We had a great time at Unwind with them, um, but they really are starting to rock and roll out. So NYX. Uh, NYX is normally $29.90 on the website, and the colours that are remaining, that's what they're priced at. We have the discontinued colours at $19.95, and I know for a lot of you, NYX is one of those desert island yarns, just so beautiful and absolutely amazing, but it is a real special treat because it is something truly, truly wonderful, um, pole worth in silk and a good percentage of silk. Uh, we have um, four colours. Uh, for that are on the sale. So there's Bone, Fog, uh, which is the Silver Grey, sorry, a GI, and these two, Tourmalin and Ether. Uh, yes, Tourmalin and Ether. This is Ether, this is Tourmalin. Uh, absolutely gorgeous. These are now starting to get quite low. So if you have been really wanting to grab some Nicks or you're an absolute Nicks fanatic and you love it, um, you really do need to get your hands on these because they are hotter than, you know, Marilyn Monroe on her best day. So you need to make sure you get in and order these because I am predicting by the end of the week these will be gone. So um, Bohemia, oh, sorry, NYX from Outlaw, very, very low, and it's essentially $10 off a ball. Uh, crazy, crazy buying. So you need to get onto that. And on the subject of all things Outlaw, um, sport, sport. We've got very, very little sport left. Um, we're now down to the last sort of little bits. Um, so, and when I say the last little bits, we're now sort of getting into double-digit numbers. So you really do need to to jump on there. Um, this look at this beautiful sample, which I swiped off deep at um, Unwind. It's called the Astragal Shore by Simone Kerrit. 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 I will post the link to that on, you know, as I do. But I just wanted to show you this because it contains Earl and Darwin, which are two of the colours which are in the sale. 
So these are now um, $8.95 ball, so you need to get your hands on these. And it's this one is done with absinthe, but you could do it with any other contrast colour. And to be quite honest with you, um, if you're wanting to get a Bohemia Sports shawl out and have for it an absolutely amazing price, you need to get onto this because, again, Bohemia Sport, the num numbers on that now are very, very low. So uh, we've got Earl, we've got Darwin, um, there's a little bit of pros and a little bit of Morris left. And when I say little bit, we're now down to the last sort of bag or two. Um, and Butler which is the other beautiful tanny sort of camel colour. Um, we've got a little bit of that left. So you really do need to get your skates on with that. Still, our stocks with the worsted, however, are still pretty strong. So that was where we had the most stock. The worsted weight is going out at $17.95. Um, it is a light worsted. So for those who are in, like, Kiwi ease, uh, what does that mean? Um, technically, we've actually spun that to a DK weight. Deb was, Deb was really clever with this, actually. She saw the composition of the yarn. She did a lot of testing with it. She saw how it knitted up. And there's a 10% possum content. And with that 10% possum content, you need to give it a bit of room to allow it to bloom. So the beautiful thing about the Bohemia worsted is that it's technically spun to a DK, but you, it means you can still knit it as a DK. And I know lots of people have been holding off, and particularly in the shop, they're a bit confused by the terminology, and they think, oh, well, what do I use to knit this with? Any of your standard DK patterns will knit up in Bohemia worsted beautifully. Been there, done that. I've knitted a couple. I've got a cowl knitted downstairs in it. Amazing. If you want to give it a little bit more room to move and let that possum bloom out a little bit, you can actually jump up a needle size to 4.5 millimeter needles um, tw in a 20 stitch tension. That is most uh, sort of 10 ply Aran um, patterns will fall into that range. And Bohemia Worst comes into its own and that possum's got a little bit more wriggle room and out it comes to play and it has a beautiful bloom when knitted. So if you've got patterns either in DK or 10 ply with anywhere with a zone of around 20, 20 to 22 stitches in the tension gauge, Bohemian Worsted is your friend. So we've got great colours in that, especially garment lots. So if you're wanting to do a garment um, coming into this winter of something really, really special, I would definitely look at, look at Bohemian Worsted. And all the Muse colours, which are those beautiful washed monochromes, are still in there. They're, the one, they're definitely flying out the door. But if you're wanting to get something super, super special, um, I would be making sure that you get onto that fairly quickly. Uh, Debs did post her hexagon blanket using those Muse colours, which was just to die for. And I know loads of you have been wanting to do that hexy blanket over the years. So you need to make sure you get onto that now and actually purchase that in her blanket she did one ball of each colour and then and I'm just trying to remember I think she got something like six hexagons out of each one from memory so it's a great time to do that blanket so you need to jump on and do that with the Bohemian Worsted so that's where we're at with those stocks um, Tex Yarns which is the uh, Panama Cotton that is the Concept Cashmere uh, the Concept Silk Tweed all of those are now down literally to final bags. So you need to get your skates on on those, um, particularly the cashmere and uh, the silk tweed. They're nearly gone, and actually the cotton too, to be fair. Um, a little bit more of the Bellissima lace. So if you like to knit that lace, um, the Bellissima lace, we had a, a wee bit more to start with, but some of those are now down to sort of just double digits. You need to get in and get those. The Bellissima is unbelievably soft. Um, I've put some out in the shop. Everyone that goes past and touches it is just like, oh, it is amazing. Um, great meterage. I think it's about 100 meters per 25 gram ball. So if you are a lace person and you love a bit of lace, definitely get onto that Bellissima Calais um, and all those others because I'm picking again with by the by the end of the week they're going to be completely finito, finale, gonies. See you later. Not there anymore. Um, and on the Wentworth yarns, and we have oodles and oodles of those, as you know, um, Amuri is now starting to get very low. So uh, I think the blue is now only available in the full play. Uh, and all the colours are down literally to last last gasps, except, I think, the pink. Um, but everything else is super, super low. So if you've been humming and harring on the Amuri, 11.95 a skein, 
25% possum content. So you're not going to see that price anywhere else. And they are the beautiful. Absolutely. They just look so lovely in real life. The pink is just a beautiful, gorgeous, soft, dusty pink, which I'm seeing everywhere um, coming in the collections for this winter. That dusty pink has been very, is going to be, I think, really popular. So get ahead of the trend and go on and grab that one. Um, on your other yarns, uh, the Gallipoli dugout sock, we're now down to the final two balls, uh, bags of that. Uh, the cotton candy, which is that beautiful soft pink uh, in the Magic Garden DK Merino, down to the last couple of bags of that. Uh, Ten ply and hush and part Persian lilac, down to the last couple of bags of that. So if you're wanting a garment lot of those, either of those, you need to jump on now and grab them because they will be gone. Uh, neon yellow, dollar a ball, literally now down to the last about three bags of that. So if you're looking for an incredible bargain, if you're actually in a business and you want to do something fun like knit Hiver's vest, there you go, just saying. Uh, and the Naco Baby, which has been our $1.95 uh, wool acrylic blend, those are now getting very, very low. So if you're knitting for charity and they're able to have an acrylic content, um, snap those up because um, half the colours are now gone, we're now down to the final four colours and those stocks are getting really low. Um, still loads of prints but they are absolutely flying out the door at 2.95 machine washable wool so you can't go wrong with that but you need to, to get your skates on. Last but not least our skeins um, stocks, the Falcon's Eye has gone absolutely gangbusters. Uh, it is the Southland of Goldenrod and DK, but it's in a 100 gram ball. So that's why we've called it the Falcon's Eye. It was just a, a balling error. So it is going out at an incredible price. So if you fell in love with that, oh, there's the phone, forgot to turn that off. If you fell in love with that, um, make sure that you snap that up. And we're down to the last of two, uh, three or four bags of that, I think. And all our heritage yarns, so that's the heritage pole worth, that's the um, organic merino, that's the kid mo here. Those stocks are getting super, super, super low. So if you're wanting to get some of those in your stash, Heritage Organic Merino is, will be coming back in another uh, format, but unfortunately our supplier um, that we've been using had a really bad growing season, so we are unable to actually, again, that's going to have to go on hiatus until we can get those stocks back. Um, so you need to get your skates on and grab those. The pole is absolutely gorgeous. Um, that's looking pretty thin on the ground. I think we've only got one of the alpacas left and you really do need that, get that kid mo here. It is flying out the door. Um, so that's where all of those are at. Look at that. Forecast for Monday. I'll give you another little update on the forecast and a lot of these as the week goes on. Um, because of course, you know, the sale ends. Install next, install this Saturday, online Sunday, which is St. Patrick's Day. Look at that, fiddly dee. Um, but well now, one of the other yarns I also mentioned, and it actually had a further reduction um, the other day, was this guy here, which is the Naturally Baby Natural. Um, this is a uh, rare breed Arapaoa Merino. So it is essentially like it spun the same as our silver lining completely completely natural um, and it's this beautiful gorgeous chocolate color and in fact it's richer than our triple peak and silver lining if you remember that and I actually this camera is not the greatest but I did knit the swatch up and it knits up absolutely beautifully really does knit up well so I thought I would jump on and hunt out some pattern ideas for you and this is the Tribeca Chernick by Carol Feller as you know, I fell in love with Carol the other month, discovered her for the first time, an Irish designer. Now, again, you can't really see it on the photograph, but it's a gorgeous, really pretty um, lace tunic, as you can see, in that lovely chocolate brown. Um, that would work, work fantastically well with the four-ply version of the of that naturally yarn, and I've done some mathematics for you. Um, it's 36 to 51 inches on that, and anywhere between 27 and 31 dollars to knit it at current pricing. Fantastic! Don't panic. I will put these, you know, in the linky commenty thing at the end, so you'll be able to check those out. The other pattern I wanted to bring to your attention, and I know it's a I've talked about this multiple times before. It's an uber favourite of mine. Oatmeal by Libby Johnson. We did this as a knit along um, last year, a few years ago, when it came out. The reason I love this pattern is that it is a good, wonderful, 
go with everything, jump a pattern, that is brilliant. And this works for any DK yarn, so it'll work fabulously well with this, but it'll also work wonderfully well with the Bohemia Worsted. I mean, it would look, work wonderfully well with any of those heritage yarns that we have on sale, with the exception of organic, obviously. Um, so if you're looking for something to knit, as I said, we did this one as the knit along, and it was great. So many people, um, you know, did really wonderful things with it. So do grab that one, because if you haven't already got it in your library, I think you need to get it. Oh, here we go, Deb. Well, thanks, Deb. Close, she said on the blanket. Close. My blanket was two balls each of Orpheus, and one ball each of the other colours, plus one ball of fog for joining. I was getting eight full hexagons, and one half hexagon per ball using a four millimeter hook. She says here, I'm a loose hooker. I can test one of that. Thanks, Deb. So there you go. So you need to get onto that um, muse if you want to do that blanket. Pop over to the Outlaw page. She's definitely um, posted images of that blanket, and I've posted images of that blanket before too. So if you're wanting to do that blanket, it is just such a cracker. Um, right, last but not least, uh, I thought I would bore you with um, what I've got on my needles. So I am, I didn't bring the chica in, I am working on my second chica, uh, but I thought I would show you in the Pimp My Stash, which is going on over in the speakeasy at the moment. Boy, have we had some stashes seriously pumped. It is fantastic. We love it. Um, we, I'm going to dream up some really wonderful vouchers and prizes and things for you. Now, Anyone that knows me is my favourite trick is to create chaos here at the office, whether it be here or knitted August nights, or, but I love to create chaos and then I love to leave the country. It's my favourite thing in the world to do. You know, just leave the scene of the crime. Um, and this year's no different. Why should I change the habit of a lifetime? So I'm doing exactly that. Um, you only have me until Thursday. And then Friday is my birthday, and I've decided I'm not working on my birthday. And then I leave the country on Saturday. Yes, yes. So I'm very excited about that. So, of course, when one is away, she needs holiday knitting. And you may have know, seen the photo I posted up uh, to announce Pimp My Stash with the two yarns that I pimped my stash with when I went down to Unwind, which was some beautiful uh, four-ply merino from Union Fibre. The lovely Bonnie de Gros, de Gros, and I just cast that on yesterday. There it is, the beginnings there. Ta da! And if yes, if you say yes, gosh, Marie, that looks familiar. It is another Niada because it's that's my favourite shawl pattern. And why is it my favourite shawl pattern? It is my favourite shawl pattern because it's got a little bit of interesting stuff there, and it's easy for me to memorise in my rapidly aging, often alcohol fuel brain, and and I love it. And so that is what this beautiful yarn is going, oopsie, is going to turn into. So that is going to be my knitting whilst I'm away, something just for me, and it's my birthday, so I can do whatever I like. Um, and I'm really excited about that. And the chica, I have to admit, I am, where am I up to? I'm just, I'm just actually, just about to join on the body to go around. So I am sort of in the homeward stretch uh, because that portion in the rib actually doesn't take too long at all. And I'm again doing a three quarter sleeve version. So in, as I discovered last time, the sleeves like take a whole New York second, they're not long at all. Um, so if I get my act together, I will actually get that finished before I go away. Uh, I just, last week I was so shattered that I didn't actually do a lot of knitting to be fair so this week I'm kind of hoping we're more under control but that's what I'm up to um, and I will also be doing more updates possibly possibly even every day because you're going to miss me you'll miss me when I'm gone and I might even have something super special for you for the last weekend of the sale but until then have a great day have a great beginning of the week um, Oh, here we go. I've just got a question. Where can I get a pattern to fit that lovely short cardigan from? Um, I would love that pattern. A lovely short cardigan. You need, Diane, I need to know which one. Oh. Oh, okay. Anyway, we'll figure that out as we go. I will post the links uh, for the ones that I've already mentioned, and I will talk to you again probably, maybe tomorrow even, if I've got new stuff to load up. So have a great week. Talk to you then. See you later.